Okay, so we went on a mildly terrifying trip to Brico Marche this morning, and uh, ten minutes down the road, we came across this little beauty, which we had no idea was here. with a um, rather nice looking tavern opposite. And I'm just looking for the, I'm not quite sure what, what they call it, but it's something to do with Richard the Lionheart, whether it's a castle that he did something famous in. He, he died in Chalut, which is very, very close to here. But um, it's amazing to have this fabulous castle so, so close to where we live. So I'm standing in the tool shed, aka possibly one of the bedrooms, and here are just some of the myriad of plumbing bits that we have felt compelled to buy over the last few days. For four days, four glorious days, we've had water. And then today came the day when... Uh, Peter had to take the plunge, <laughs> so to speak, and cut one of the pipes uh, so he could cap it off um, in preparation for uh, replacing um, the plumbing in the bathroom. Uh, unfortunately, despite our best efforts of measuring the diameter of the copper pipes here, um, which included not buying a special tool to do so, but wrapping various items around pipes, like bits of string and bag ties and measuring it. We had not accounted for the fact that uh, when you paint pipes, they are two millimetre thicker, apparently, and the uh, fittings that we had bought were 14 millimetre. And then he cut through the pipe, having, of course, turned off the water first and discovered that all the pipes here were 12 millimetre. So... All the plumbing uh, valves, fittings, accoutrement um, were the wrong um, size. So today we have been shopping again in Brico Marche down the plumbing aisle again. Uh, but I am very happy to report that we now have two beautifully capped off pipes. The place is not leaking a la tsunami. Um, and the uh, water is back on. Hooray! Success! <laughs> <laughs> 